G'day there everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Welcome to today's edition. Now, the focus of today's edition is really using the power of segmentation in your Microsoft Teams by utilizing tags for your internal communication. Now, everybody uh, can at mention a team or a channel, um, but those are blasted out to everybody. We now even have the, uh, the ability to at mention everyone um, as well. So now, Obviously, there are downsides to that, and everybody gets, uh, I guess, a global blasted message across the board. Now, what if we could use the power of segmentation by really harnessing a specific group of people and directing our message to those people inside of our team? That's the focus of today and really is the whole concept and idea of our tags inside of Microsoft Teams. So let's jump in and have a look at this underutilized feature. So we can see that I'm in the Mark 8 project team. I've got three owners and I've got 16 members and guests. Now the team itself is made up of a number of different channels. So we've got general, we've got design, we've got digital assets, and we've got go to market. Now if I wanted to bring everybody's attention to a, uh, a topic here in the design channel, now now, primarily this design channel is made up of our design team. So not everybody across this project is really needing to get this message. How do we actually segment our project team just to our designers? That's where tags comes into play. So if I jump into the Mark 8 project team, click the three little dots and I'll go manage team. We've got this tab over on the right hand side called tags and this gives us the ability to group people inside of this team. So I'm gonna create a tag here and let's call this uh, the design team. All right, so it's a, a tag called design team that's part of this Mark 8 project team. All right, so I'm gonna untick this and now is where we can add our people that are part of this process. So Nesta might be part of our design team. We might also have Alex that's, the, that's part of our design team and I think Adele's part of this team too. So there we go, we've got our three designers as part of this tag. Now, I'm gonna create this tag here. All right, so we're gonna create. We can see that we've got this design team tag. It's got three members. Now, how do we go about utilizing this tag? Well, in the design channel, I'm gonna start a new post. And in the body of this post, I'm gonna use the at symbol and I'm going to go start typing design, all right? And you can see that what happens is that that tag now appears as something that we can at mention. So I can do, do uh, tag or at mention the, the whole channel, but that defeats the purpose, right? Because everybody that's part of this team is gonna get that ping. Now, I'm going to go design team and go, hey all, this is um, important for us, all right? Not important for everybody else, but important for this design team. So I am now going to uh, post that. All right, so not everybody gets that little ping and in their activity feed, but only the people in that design team. So let's have a look at that experience from a member of the design team. So here's the activity feed of Alex. And if you remember, Alex was part of that tag that we created and is part of the design team. So we can see that he gets a little entry in his activity feed and we've got the red highlighted design team tag there. Now, if I jump back into the team itself, so I'll jump into teams, I'll go to design, we can see we've got a little notification there, and you can see that that has uh, highlighted red there uh, in the feed itself. Now, what about if you're not part of that design team tag? So if I'll drag uh, Paddy's across here, you can see that Paddy doesn't have anything in the activity feed, and if we go into teams and we go into uh, the Mark 8 project team, you can see that we don't have a little, um, a little red symbol there with any notification. But if I jump into the design team, look, we can still see it and uh, Paddy can still access it, but we're not getting that notification and being bombarded with just all these at mentions and things like that. So really improving the communication and the uh, user experience by using segmentation as part of your teams, using the tags functionality really does enhance that user experience for the people that are members of that team. So I hope that brings you some value. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next edition.